here comes a storm Here comes a storm What is up, Scar and I bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Episode 2. In the last episode, we started off on our journey. We met with Professor Om and got our first Pokemon. We also uh, helped out Mr. Pokemon, and we got the Pokedex from Professor Oak, and we got the Mystery Egg from uh, Mr. Pokemon. I, I feel weird saying Pokemon so many times, but yeah. I did say that in episode 2 I'll do in the night time, but I'll, as you'll see right here in the Poke Gear, it's 558, so in 2 minutes uh, you'll see night time, or the transition to night time. Uh, I had so many failed recordings in this episode, it's crazy and it's really annoying, but uh, I think this one will be right, but I said that last time for uh, so many different reasons, really. But, uh,. I even had a new game, uh, so when I started, or uh, when I had to start over because I already saved at one point, I had to find a new girl Cyndaquil and everything, and I, I got it from the same point as last time. Uh, it only took me two tries, the first time was a boy, the second time was a girl Cyndaquil, so no big deal. I mean, it was episode one, and it was only like 30 minutes of gameplay, and I have a speed of bun, but I'm not going to use it in the let's play, because that will uh, got, get your guys' attention kind of off, but uh, yeah, it's kind of close. I think I I did use the berry, like last episode, and um, another thing is I did... I don't. I think I have one more potion that I didn't use, so uh, that's the only difference. Everything else I kept true. So uh, there's a secret potion in this area right here, in the flower bed, and as you saw, there's a transition to night. So uh, now is the night episode. So if you go right here every single day, like I said, we'll have a berry in this tree. Hey, it's a poison cure berry. And all the trees that looks like this so uh, yeah you don't have to worry about that so uh, let's just go on and uh, there was also something with Professor Elm saying like when we left he, he sounded like he was having trouble it looked a polywag so I'm gonna see why and uh, I'm gonna see what's troubling him and go back to the uh, to the lab and see what's the problem that's gonna hurt because Poliwag's water type and I'm a fire type and that's not good. And uh, just now that it's nighttime, you'll see night Pokemon. Okay, so hopefully I could kill this thing on time. So many field recordings and I'm really tired of it. That's five damage. I think I'll do one more tackle and then I'm gonna heal. And uh, let's see. Hopefully, it doesn't crit. That would suck. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my potion that I just got. Heal myself. And we should do one more tackle, and that should take it out. Okay, so Poliwag is down. And we're at level 8. Alright, so let's go down. And let's check if they're still battling up there. Yep, they are. I'm not going to talk to them because they say they're about the same thing. <clears throat> Just wanted to show that off. Let's get this berry because, you know, it pops up every single day. Uh, in this house, uh, this guy does not give you another berry because he's not a tree. You know, it, it, it kind of sucks that he's not a tree because, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I'm just saying stuff. Uh, so, let's go in the Pokemon Center right quick, actually. It, Cyndaquil had a little bit of damage, but uh, it's no big deal. I just want to get it all restored. 
But uh, let's do this. All right, let's go. Wait, what the heck? Huh? You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste! A wimp like you? Huh? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna battle. So I don't know what his name is. Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? I was gonna say Silver, cause that's what people call him. But uh, yeah. Ugh. Send out Totodile. So go Akuma. Oh man, that's gonna kill me. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say the name already. But uh, this guy, I think he's the guy that kicked me. What the heck? Oh my god, dude. All right, so let's go tackle this guy again. Okay, let's go use tackle. I should mention that tackle is probably the most basic move you can have. If you don't have tackle, then you most likely will have scratch, depending what Pokemon it is. If it's a flying type, you probably have peck instead. It's just a starter move. And like you saw, uh, Poliwag has bubble. I mean, certain Pokemon has different type of moves, but you know, usually they have the same, um, you know, moves. Whatever. But three question marks was defeated. Huh? Are you happy you won? Uh, yeah. Ryu got $300 for winning, or pokey bucks. I don't know. Huh. My name is Nye. Oh, nice to meet you, Nye. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Oh, punk, he hit me. Anyway, let's move on. I would use the Pokemon Center, but I didn't get much damage. Believe it or not, in a failed record, I actually lost that battle. But, uh... I... It, the... The recording was, I don't know, was all, all my recordings, I, I felt like seven times. I don't know, it was too many times. I, I did this yesterday, and I couldn't even get it done, so it kind of sucks. I'm not meeting with any, okay, now I am. It's a hoot hoot. Um, yeah, now that is uh, nighttime, you'll see night Pokemon, just like hoot hoot and Poliwag and, uh, uh, did I see any other Pokemon, or those are the only two so far? I think that's it. We should be able to take Hoo Hoo out in three hits. Unfortunately, I would like it in two, but uh, whatever. Let's use Tackle. And Hoo Hoo's down. And a critical hit, really? Come on now. Anyway, let's move on. Let's see what Professor Holmes having trouble with, because I have no idea. Hey, this just so you guys know, this is a police officer. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with young, uh, with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Yeah, his name was. He said it was this. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, but. Uh, like I said, his name is Silver. Uh, there's no real revealed name, just like Ethan. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna call him Ken from the Street Fighter. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know who Ken is. Okay, so Ken was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Okay. Anyway, Professor L, how's it going? Right here, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Miss Pokemon's big discovery? Right, you handed the mystery egg to Professor Elm. This. But is it a Pokemon egg? What? If it is, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Elm gave you a Pokedex? Right, you is that true? That that's incredible. He's superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Ryo, right, you may have what it takes to become the champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Ryu, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Hey, I'm not going to talk to my mom, dude. Let me actually heal the Pokemon right here. Or my only Pokemon. <laughs> just to show that off. Yeah, you saw that? I just walked right on the chair. That's weird. 
Oh, dude, what do you want now? Ryu, use these on your Pokedex quest. And Ryu received Pokeball. He gives you five individual Pokeballs. I don't know why that's not plural, but to add to your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon to get them. Ryu, put the Pokeball in the ball pocket. As you see uh, in the pack, uh, there's different pockets, as you see, but this is the ball pocket. Uh, he gives you five Pokeballs, so I could easily just, because it starts it off with the items or any item you use last, so I, you could just easily go right and go to the Pokeball section. Unlike red, blue, and yellow where the backpack was limited to like 20 items or so. Anyway, we'll go right here and this guy will stop you. This dude. I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Technically none, because this Pokemon was given to me. Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Sure, I already know how, but I want to show off the tutorial, so that's why I'm doing that. He'll always see a Rattata. Uh, this guy's name is Dude, while Rattata appeared. So, the ideal way to catch Pokemon is either to get it to the orange bar or the red bar. Um, or put a status on him, like poison and other such statuses that I have not revealed. But he'll always catch this Rattata. Rattata uh, appears in the day and the night time, just so you guys know. That's how you do it. If you weaken them first, Pokemon are earlier, uh, easier to catch. Not earlier, that makes no sense. Anyway, I'm going to do the bios right now. The first Pokemon only in the daytime, Pidgey. Pidgey is probably the beginner's choice of Pokemon to catch. Uh, Pretty easy to use. I recommend you doing it if it's your first time playing Pokemon. When it evolves into Pidgeotto level 18, a really good team member, really. Uh, he still has ways to, to get real flying moves because Gus is, does not count as a flying move and he does not learn Peck for whatever reason. When he evolves into Pidgeot level 36, this Pokemon is amazing. He's a great Pokemon. If you were to catch Pidgey, make sure to keep it at all times. Uh, when you fully evolve it to a Pidgeot, he will benefit you greatly. Uh, the next Pokemon is Rattata. As you saw, Dude just caught him. He appears in the nighttime and the daytime. Rattata. Uh, I don't recommend you catching him because he's just too plain and too basic. He's just and he'll fail you more uh, more times. Uh, yeah, that's basically about it. When he evolves to Raticate level 20, he is not well statured, but uh, he does get good moves and he's pretty versatile. But he, I don't know, Raticate, if you know how to use him, he'll be good in your team. The next Pokemon is Sentrid, only in the daytime. Sentrid's an awesome Pokemon, very versatile, just as versatile as Raticate and Raticate. Uh, Sentry when he evolves into Furry level 15, just as versatile, great key member of your team if you're going to pick him out. Uh, and yeah, the next Pokemon's Hoot Hoot in the nighttime. Only in the nighttime. Hoot Hoot, um, he is. I strongly recommend you using Hoot Hoot because starting off in this game, he'll do good. In the long run, he'll do great because uh, when he evolves into Noctowl level 20, he'll learn psychic moves, and that will do you greatly in the long run. The next Pokemon is Hoppit, only in the daytime. I don't recommend Hoppit because, as you saw, he has Splash. He does have other moves that he learns along the way, but not good. He's, he kind of sucks, to be quite honest with you. Uh, when he evolves into Skipping level 18, he's just basically a bigger Hoppit, really. Uh, that's about it. Uh, level 27, uh, when Skip Bloom evolves to Jump Love level 27, I should say. Jump Love is better than Hop and Skip Bloom combined, but that's not really a compliment. But, uh, Skip Bloom, or Jump Love, uh, I would like to use Jump Love, but I would, I don't want to use Hop and Skip Bloom because they'll, they'll fail me too many times and it'll take too long for them to evolve into Jump Love. Maybe someday. I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet. But that's all the Pokemon in this area. The bios aren't quite done yet though because shortly I will go to a different area and tell you what the Pokemon are there. But I just want to point that out. But uh, now that we got Pokeballs, we're able to catch Pokemon. I'm not going to catch a rat attack because I think it's <clears throat> my voice cracked just now. I don't know if you heard. I think it's kind of... no. 
Yeah. But now that we got Pokeballs, all Pokemarts have Pokeballs out of nowhere. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah. And we're able to go to certain places now. But let's go up here. And uh, let's go face this Pokemon. It's a Hoot Hoot. A female Hoot Hoot. Let's go take her out with tackles. Okay, so let's take her out with the tackle. I'm gonna try and catch my second Pokemon in this episode. Uh, that's what I'm gonna try to go for. But uh, I should mention my moves. Tackle is probably the most basic moves you'll have. It's basically the equivalent. If you don't have tackle, if the Pokemon does not have tackle, most likely I scratch in the beginning of the game. But uh, before I continue talking about it, this area right here has new Pokemon, so I'm gonna say the bios right here and right now. So the next Pokemon is Geodude in the day and the nighttime. Geodude is a good Pokemon. The only problem is it's a rock and ground type. Uh, whenever a, its quad weakness is grass and water, and that's probably the most common type. So uh, Geodude will kind of suffer, so I'll try to avoid them. When it evolves into Graveler level 25, it's a great Pokemon as long as you avoid the two, po uh, two types of Pokemon that I mentioned. Graveler will serve you well. Uh, the only problem is to get Golem, you have to trade. So uh, that's a shame because Golem is a great Pokemon. I would recommend you using them, but uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. Okay, so the next Pokemon is Spiro. Spiro is here in the daytime. He's my ideal flying type that I would like to use. Uh, I'm not gonna catch him though. Uh, Spiro's very aggressive, learns flying moves right off the bat, very powerful. When he evolves into Firo level 20, Firo will benefit you well. He has some unnecessary moves here and there, but uh, he still grows and uh, learns real flying moves, so that's good. I'm gonna hold off on Jigglypuff because uh, I, there, I'll tell you probably a little bit later. Not in this episode though, probably in another episode. Uh, only in Crystal version in this area, Fanfi in the daytime, maybe morning. I'm not quite sure about that. But Fanfi is a rare Pokemon in these parts. Pretty hard to find right off the bat. Uh, Fanfi has the ability to run away uh, whenever it wants to, which is kind of weird. Um, and yeah, when it evolves into Dawn Fan level 25, I find Dawn Fan really hard to use, to be quite honest with you. But if you know how to use him, then he could uh, pull off with some great stuff. So, uh, yeah. That's all the Pokemon in this area, so I'm just going to continue going back down. You won't see Fanfi in this episode, so that's why. But, uh, the next move that I have on Syndical's list is Leer. What Leer does, it drops defense. I don't. Did I get this berry already? It's a fruit berry tree. Okay, okay, I already got it. Oh, yeah, uh, you could only walk down the ledges, not up it, or right, or, or whatever, uh, you know. Yeah. So let's just continue. Uh, I think, how, how, how's my Pokemon doing? Okay, it's doing okay. I could, I don't need to go to Pokemon Center. Let's go right here and uh, let's see if we could find ourselves our second Pokemon. And it's a Poliwag. A girl Poliwag. Level 4. Let's go use Tackle on it. There is new Pokemon in this route, but I'm going to save it for the next episode. That bubble's going to hurt. Let's use Tackle. Okay, so, uh, oh jeez, this could hurt so much. I'm actually gonna catch this Pokemon. This is what I was trying to uh, catch in my other failed recordings. It took me forever to find a Poliwag, and uh, it's a female Poliwag, which is pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> who knows, I might have an all-girl team. That's pretty funny, actually. Gotcha, Poliwag was caught. Poliwag's data was newly added to the Pokedex. Poliwag, the tadpole Pokemon, 2 feet tall, 27 pounds. The swirl on its belly is its insides showing 
through the skin, it looks clear after it eats. Give it a nickname to Poliwag? Yeah. I'm actually going to call it Necro. I'm pretty sure not, it's not the most known Street Fighter name, but this is what Necro looks like right here. Technically, it's not a boy nor girl, but it has a boy physique. Uh, Necro I'm talking about, not Poliwag. But, uh, yeah, that's who Poliwag's name's gonna be. Uh, I'm not sure who Necro is, though. That's the only thing. I just know he's a character, and he kind of looks like him, except for the red markings. But let's just continue. Not sure what time we're at, but I think we're coming close to 20 minutes. Let's just move on over. I should actually heal my Poliwag, to be quite honest. Spinner X the next Pokemon. I'm kind of hurt, but it's okay. Okay, String Sight, what it does, it drops speed. Leer, what it does, it drops defense. And uh, Smoke Screen, what it does, it uh, reduces accuracy, so you'll most likely miss. Oh god, that's. Okay, I'm just gonna attack one more time, and I'm gonna heal. So what I'm going to do last, I'm going to do my first battle that wasn't my rival Pokemon. So I, I'm going to use my Poison Cure Berry because I'm not going to use much of those. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give my two potions to Akuma. And I'm going to give my other potion to uh, Necro. And, okay, so my I'm going to switch Poliwag right here. This is how I train my Pokemon. I recommend you doing this, but uh, let's see what what, what will happen. Everyone's having fun battling. You should too. Okay, let's do that. Let's do our first Pokemon battle. That's not a rivals. I just lost this, uh, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Did he just call me weak, dude? Dude. Is Youngster Joey wants to battle. Now they have names. It's not just Youngster, but it's Youngster Joey. They all have different names now, which is pretty cool. It adds some more personality. But this is Necro. Yeah, let's use Bubble. Level 4 versus level 4. Who's going to win? Um, Tackle's better move than Bubble, quite honestly. So it might have some trouble. But Rattata will drop speed, so I will be able to hit twice or three times or whatever. And every now and then he'll do a tail whip. But bubble. Five damage. It might be kind of. Okay, that's critical hit. Nice. Good job, Necro. Okay. Alright, let's just bubble. Uh, no, no, no. It's gonna kill it, isn't it? No! I didn't want her to die all the way. If this was a Nuzlocke run, I already lost. Let's just tackle and finish it off. Man. Alright, critical hit. That's a shame. And I'm not even level 10. That's just great. Egg, I lost again. Doggone it. And actually, if you talk to him, do I have to have more Pokemon in order to battle? <coughs> Excuse me, I burp. In order to battle better? No, I'm sticking with this one and no matter what. Listen, can I get your phone number? I'll ring you for some battles. I'm a rookie uh, too, so I think it'd be a good motivator. Alright, let's do it. Certain trainers have these numbers. You can't do it on every single trainer that you meet. It's just certain trainers. I'll ring you whenever I get the urge to battle. Okay, so next time on Pokemon Crystal or Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Episode 3, we will continue on this route and battle some more trainers. And uh, hopefully you'll like my uh, my outro. I find it clever in my opinion. Uh, but uh, that's the idea that I had for a while now. Other than that, White Tigers and Dragons to you.